Hi, I'm Esther Lin. I'm the photographer for Invicta FC. We're here in Kansas City for Invicta 3, Penne vs. Sugiyama for the Adam Waite title. Today's photo shoot day, so come meet some of our fighters. Uh, my name is Jessamyn Duke, and I train out of the AFS Academy in Richmond, Kentucky. Hi, my name is Catalina Malungahu, and I trained out of uh, Extreme Couture in Las Vegas, Nevada. My name is Tisha Torres, also known as the Tiny Tornado, and I trained out of American Top Team in Coconut Creek, Florida. Um, Marcia Allen, uh, training out of Sioux Falls, South Dakota at Next Edge Academy. My name is Stephanie Marie Frosto, I train out of JGMMA, and um, my nickname is Makakinia, meaning little monkey in Portuguese. I'm Joanne Calderwood from Scotland. I train out of the Dinkin Ninja fight team and the Crip House Glasgow gym. Hi, my name is Kayana Rain and I fight out of Verdun Combat Team, Kings MMA, Rain Training Center and Black House MMA. I'm Danielle West. Um, I fight out of London, UK. Uh, I'm 35 years old. I've been training MMA for nine years and in my spare time I make soap, I write novels and I have a couple of guinea pigs. I'm Ashley Smashley Cummins. I train out of St. Louis, Missouri. I'm Carla Esparza and I train out of Timo Yama in Urbank, California. My name is Julia Budd and I train at Gibson MMA in Port Moody, British Columbia. My name is Michelle Watterson and I train out of Jackson Winkle John's MMA at Albuquerque. <laughs> at Albuquerque? In Albuquerque? <laughs> My name is Kat Zingano and I train out of Zingano Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Muay Thai out of Broomfield, Colorado. I'm Laura Planchak, I fought out of Pat Nullfish's gym in Bettendorf, Iowa. I'm Tara La Rosa. I'm from New Jersey. I'm super pumped to be here. My name is Caitlin Young. I'm training out of a lot of places. The Academy, uh, Brooklyn Center, Minnesota Spartan Martial Arts in Oakdale, Minnesota, and Horsepower Strength and Conditioning in Edina, Minnesota. And my name is Ashton Daly. I'm fighting out of Straight Blast Gym in Dublin, Ireland. My name is Shayna Baszler. I train out of Next Edge Academy in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, and also CSW in Orange County. My name is Leslie Smith, and I train out of the Caesar Gracie Jiu Jitsu Academy in Pleasant Hill, California. Sarah Delelio, I'm fighting out of uh, Dublin, California, CSA, Combat Sports. <laughs> Uh, my name is Jessica Penny and I train out of Rain Training Center and Kings MMA. I'm a police officer and I work midnight so I work 9pm to 7am and I get to sleep at about 8am and then I wake up at 2pm and train from 3pm to 8pm I go straight into work. Uh, the reason I wear my singlet is just to kind of express my background. I'm a wrestler and you know I, I gotta represent. This one, Araya. This is my little sunshine. Her name's Araya. She's my my everything. <laughs> Say hi, monkey. Say hi. I never go into a fight with expectation. Um, I'm just really interested in, in showcasing the things that my coaches have been working really hard with me on. You know, there's a lot of new things that were quite a challenge at first for them to be teaching me, but as I went along, you know, it got easier and easier and then it became more fun and more fun and, and now I'm ready to go out there and let those fun things become a reality, not just pad work, not just sparring, not just within my own gym and community. I'm excited to, to show the women's MMA community as well as the whole MMA MMA community, you know, what we can do and what, what our capabilities are as far as fighters. I actually have a part-time job and I work for Green Ambrosia, which is a medicinal marijuana consortium in Seattle and I deliver medicinal marijuana to a lot of homebound folks. I work with cancer patients and AIDS patients and a lot of people that have had like surgeries and have a lot of pain. I'm very proud of what I do, I'm very proud of my work, and I'm really not afraid to tell anybody about it. I enjoy the training, I, I really do enjoy the lifestyle. The last week sucks because you're eating very restricted, but um, I really kind of enjoy the whole process, honestly. Aside from the last week. There. Tries to dress me sometimes, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> dude! <laughs> there. <laughs> To be honest, my opponent is never ever important in a fight. I just see my opponent as a manifestation of, of my own competitive nature and I, once I perform well in a fight, I, I'm happy whether I win or lose, but, but I'm, more, I'm more interested in my own performance than my opponent. It's just a, it's just a different face on, a, on an opponent. It's no big deal to me, so it's, a, it's more about me being competitive rather than anything to do with being angry at somebody. Or I don't care about any of that stuff. I, I just want to compete. Everybody knows that I fight. 
They come to see a fight. Everybody knows that fighters do focus mitt work, grapple, train in wrestling, do all this. So it's like, everybody knows that I do that. I want to be, what people are interested in is who you are outside of that. So I try not to, it's a given that I do that stuff because I get in there and fight. So I want, I want, to, I want people to get to know me. So I just give them pieces of who I am which is all that stuff. I like playing with cards, I like heavy metal, play the guitar, so it's all just giving the fans a little bit more than, than average humans do. You know, I read a, an article about the difference between athletes and fighters and how athletes are taking over MMA. People are just going to walk in, they're going to try to outpoint somebody else that, you know, they don't come in with their emotion. And fighters, Nick Diaz is a great example, um, come in and they come in as fighters to fight, to destroy the other person, to ruin every single thought that that other person had about winning inside the cage. You're fantastic. All of it. And so that's, that's what I, that's what Caesar teaches. And that's what I feel like I bring to the cage, that kind of style of fighting, the fighter style of fighting. I'm not here for points. I'm not going to hold you up against the cage or lay on you for the whole time. I'm going to try to beat you. All right, now face forward. And um, think about what you're going to eat after weigh-ins. I'm not that big of a, a Twitter, Facebook, or a social media person, but I really tried to just because I realized how important it is um, getting the word out about Invicta and everybody finding on the card. And we all need to support each other. Even though you know, some of us compete against each other, I just think it's really important to, to get the word out and get attention because everybody on this card trains really hard and they deserve to be seen. I, what I expect fans to say after this fight on Saturday is the normal. Damn! <laughs> so far, Invicta, I feel like they just run everything, you know, almost as perfect as you can run things in a promotion. And uh, they've treated their athletes fantastically, and they take really good care of us. And as far as the, uh, the matchups and stuff that they put on, you know, I don't think there's anything else better going on in the world right now in women's MMA. Uh, I hate not eating, I love food, and I'm miserable. Uh, even though I tend to, to keep a happy face, I'm, I'm hungry as hell right now, so... <laughs> I don't like getting a picture took or being on camera, <laughs> apart for, from when I'm fighting. Uh, I'm not really a confident person, but when I'm in the ring or the cage, uh, uh, I feel a wee bit more confident, so it's easier. <laughs> I'm very fortunate that my two passions in life, I get to do both. I'm very passionate about being a police officer and very passionate about being a fighter, so I'm living both my dreams right now, and it's awesome. The worst part of the week is always going home. I think, you know, it's it's such a big moment and such a build-up, and so when it's done, it's done. So that's uh, it's bittersweet. So. <laughs>